Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipal Gupta. So today I am back with another interview problem. It is a very interesting problem and it has been asked in Uber Senior Data Analyst interview. So before proceeding towards the problem, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe so that you do not miss any new video. So let's get started. So guys, this is the interview problem that we have. On the left side, we have an input table. This input table has one column that is team and we have four records in it, Australia, India, England and Pakistan. Now we need to write an SQL query to print the possible matches that can happen between these teams with a condition that each team will compete with another team only one. That is, we need to print the output table that we have on the right side. So this output table has six records and here we have all the possible combinations between these teams. So now let's go to MySQL workbench for the solution. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench and I have already created a table, table teams against the input table that we have. So first of all, let's write a basic select statement to fetch the data from that table. So first of all, let's define the database that is this here. Let's execute this. Now moving ahead, let's write the basic select statement. So the name of the tables is teams. So select star from teams. All right. So now in this table, we just have one column and we have four records and we need to write an SQL query to print this output table. So here we are getting six rows and two columns. Now the ask of the problem is that we need to find the possible matches or possible combinations which can happen between these teams. Now, whenever we think of possible matches or combinations, the first thing that comes to our mind is cross joins. So let's apply cross joins here first to see what we are getting. Select a dot team as team a comma b dot team as team B. So now here we just have one table, table teams and I am using it as two tables by using aliasing. So the first alias is A and other alias is B. Teams A cross join teams as B. Now let's execute this to see the output. I forgot to mention from. Let's execute this. All right. So now in this output, we are getting 16 records because 4 by 4 that is 16 is coming. Now the challenge here is that we are getting some entries where team A is equal to team B, which is not the ideal situation that we want because Australia can't compete against Australia, right? Similarly, for all the four teams, we have four records like this. So in order to filter that out, we can use where clause. We can use the condition where a dot team is not equal to b dot team. Let's execute this. All right. So now in this output, we are getting 12 records. But in the desired output table, we are getting six rows. It is happening because for every possible match that can happen between two teams, we are getting two records. For example, we are getting one record where Pakistan is competing against Australia and another record where Australia is competing against Pakistan. So now we just want the distinct records or distinct matches. but Applying distinct or using group by is not possible directly because SQL will consider these two records differently because Pakistan is under team A and Australia is under team B in first record whereas in the second record Australia is coming under team A and Pakistan is under team B. So now this challenge can be resolved by applying horizontal sorting. Now if we apply horizontal sorting what we are doing so basically in that case will put all the alphabetically lower teams in the one side and alphabetically higher teams at the other side. Let me show you how we can do that. So in order to do that, we need to, we need to use case. Select case when team A is less than team B, then it will return team A because it is alphabetically lower. 
else it will return team b so whichever team is alphabetically lower it will be returned in this case statement and as i am aliasing it as team a similarly i am creating another column where i will be putting all the alphabetically higher teams that is case when team a so if team a is greater than team b then it will return team a else it will return team b now i'll be calling this as team underscore b and s now i'll be putting this in the sub query right let me move it a little bit lower yeah so i'll be putting this part in the sub query right so from this part will be in the sub query now so i am aliasing it as a now i want to order by 1 comma 2 that is i am ordering the result with respect to the team underscore a and team underscore b so now let's execute this to see the output see so now the data is horizontally sorted that is if we were getting two records earlier where australia is coming under team a and england is coming under team b and another record where england is coming under team a and australia is coming under team b so now we have horizontally sorted this now we can apply distinct or we can use group by in order to find the distinct records so let me apply group by here so i will be grouping this data with respect to the column 1 and column 2 so group by 1 comma 2 now let's execute this to see the output see so now here we are getting six rows and these are all the possible matches which can happen between these teams and it is similar to the desired output that we want see both the outputs are exactly same now this is one way of doing this problem another way is instead of using cross join we can use self join right i'll show you how to do that so select I'll be treating this. Uh, uh, basically, we need to alias this table again. So a dot team as team a comma b dot team as team b from teams a join teams b on team a is not equal to team b. Let's execute this. See, so we are getting 12 records, and now we can use horizontal sorting here to get the distinct records only. Let me show you how to do that again. Select case when team a is less than team b then team a else team b and as team underscore a comma i'll just copy paste this and i'll modify it l team b from so this part will come under sub query order by 1 comma 2 see now the data is sorted and we just need to use distinct or group by so in this case let's use distinct distinct now let's execute this see so here we are getting the desired output which is similar to the output table that we want right so basically these two ways can be used so to solve this problem the first one is control z sorry the first one is cross join plus horizontal sorting and the other is self join and horizontal sorting 
so guys i have shared one another video where i have explained the horizontal sorting in a detailed manner so you can refer that out as well so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it in case of any query please do let me know in the comment section also if you have any problem and you want me to make a solution video on the same please share in the comment section so do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel for your interview preparation